Bitcoin just hit 70K. Is this bull market over now? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whatever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. It's a very windy day, stormy day. I think it will go storm later today, but I just took the risk to go onto the beach to create another beautiful video for you guys. In today's video, of course, talking about the news, as there is always cool news that I want to share with you, jumping into the charts to show you exactly what is happening to Bitcoin as we hit 70K, what is next? And of course, inspirational quote at the end to keep it a little bit short and powerful. Let's start this amazing Tuesday now with your first task of the day, giving this video a thumbs up. Now, let's jump into the news. Bam. Yes, I got you. Of course, the bull market is not over. We are just arriving at 70K. And most huge investment companies understand that. That's why Meta Planet, which is one of the biggest Asian investment funds, bought another 160 Bitcoins, bringing the total of their Bitcoins now to 1,018 Bitcoins, which has a value of 68 million US dollar. In average, guys, Meta Planet has paid around 61K per Bitcoin. So yes, they are already in profit, but they are gonna be way more in profit as this is just the start of those 12 months of very bullish moves in Bitcoin. The move that we saw now, a couple of K, let's say from 68 to 70 is not the big move. Yes, from 58 to 70, that's already a 12K move. That's a little bit bigger. But guys, in the upcoming 12 months, we're gonna see more of this insane move. 20% move would mean, for example, a 14K jump. A 30% move would mean a 21K jump. I expect these kinds of moves in the next couple of months. We are gonna double from 60K to 120K. By now, we already arrived at 70K. We can still double to 140, 150, maybe even 160K. So yes, in my opinion, it's still a beautiful moment to invest. So the news of the day is that not only the United States, huge investment funds like BlackRock, etc., are accumulating Bitcoin, also now the Asian investment firms like MetaPlanet, which is Japanese, is investing hugely in Bitcoin, guys. And aside of that, the Bitcoin wills are accumulating Bitcoin as well because there was like 2% more addresses with 1,000 plus Bitcoins in the last couple of months, which is around 250 more Bitcoin wills now holding more than 1,000 Bitcoins. So all the big wallets are accumulating Bitcoin. They don't accumulate to make losses. They don't accumulate just to hold for one day. They accumulate because they understand that Bitcoin is the gold of the 21st century. That is what you need to read when you read the news that the biggest investment companies of the world are investing their assets in Bitcoin. They understand it's the gold of the 21st century. It's gonna increase in value. It will take maybe four years, maybe eight years, maybe only 12 months. It doesn't really matter because they zoom out, they look at the bigger picture. They want to protect their wealth against inflation. They want to grow their capital at the same time protect it against inflation. And that is what you should be doing as well. So the news item for the day is, all the world is buying Bitcoin. Bam. Turning around guys, let's jump into the charts now and we'll jump into my living room again to talk about the Bitcoin charts because we just hit 70K. Are we gonna stay above it? Are we gonna, are we gonna drop again to lower lows or whatever you think it is? Let's just check what TA is showing us now in Bitcoin. Bam. The first chart for today, guys. Yes, a one hour chart. Let's uh, zoom uh, out a little bit to the four hour chart. <clears throat> this is a four hour chart. Look how beautiful that chart is moving in a direction. I told you it will be moving. I say 72K is the resistance area. Um, we are almost there, guys. We are now at 70K. If we break that 70K, of course, also always is magical resistance because it's a round number, 50K, 60K, 70K. You know, we need to break that, but then the real resistance comes at 72K, guys. So we can still go a little bit up, but if you're happy with the profits that you made, because of buying, because of the indicator setup. For example, over here, I will show you once again how powerful the indicator setup is. I'm gonna draw. This is the buy signal. This is the candle closing above the yellow stepping line. That's the go. The blue line is above the white line. That is a triple confirmation. The white line is pointing upwards. There's already a quadruple confirmation. Here, the green is starting. That's the fifth confirmation. 
So all of these confirmations were telling us, hey, this is a good long. And that long, that was a long uh, from about here, let's take it too late, till where we are now, 3.8%. That's a long of almost 3,000, 2,500 US dollar. Beautiful long, of course, again, because of the setup. But when do you take profit? Normally when we see sell signal. So when you see this one over there, um, this is sell signal, like there. Or if we cannot close the candle down below the yellow stepping line. So you choose, but don't be too greedy because greed will kill all your profits. Sometimes it's just good to take profits, be happy with them, to chill, sit back and wait for another trade to enter. Now, if we go to this one, the Gaussian channel, because I used that the last couple of weeks to show you a lot of stuff, we're also exactly where we should be going. We are above that Gaussian channel area. We are above it. I told you, when we were going inside of the channel, I told you this is going to be support. We need to keep support over there. If we keep support on this line, I told you, we can bounce up. And then we are resistant. And then we come out. And then we retest it. And if we retest it, stay above, we can become very bullish. And that's what we see now. And that very bullishness I compared to the last couple of moves in Bitcoin. I'm going to show you again what I did last time. I told you, every time when we switch here on the bottom, from red to green, it was a huge move. This time over there, here, this arrow, 20K move. This, 30K move. And now again, from this moment that I told you this, it was like 58K, we are already at 69K, that's almost already a 12K move. I believe it can be easily a 20K move, eight more K or maybe a 30K move even to like 90,000 US dollar. This will take a little bit. As you can see, it took a little bit here as well. It will take a little bit here as well. But it's beautiful to see that every time the same thing happened, and I even zoomed out further with you guys, and I told you the 55K move, 37K move, 7K move, 20K move, 30K move. At the moment, we are at a 12K move. It's going to be a bigger move. So that is why TA, the charts, are important. And every time, I will show you this through another chart, and there is the Bitcoin chart here. Every time, when we exit or stay above a Gaussian channel, just up front or just in a bull market, there is a very positive move. Check. Let's go back. Let's just go back here. <clears throat> this is the 2017 bull market. The moment we got above that red Gaussian channel, we tested that green ch channel. The moment we stayed above it, we stayed above it, that full bull market. Here again, the last one. Here we went into the Gaussian channel. That was the bear market. Even down below it, COVID crash, we came above it uh, inside again. Then we came above it, we retested it over there. Bam, we stayed above it. Look what we're doing now. We had the bear market. We came above it, we came inside, we came above it, inside, we are above it. I believe we're going to go into a full-blown bull market. As you also can see here on the bottom, this is at the bottom purple line. We have the opportunity, the possibility to go to the top purple line with that blue line. And that is again when the bull market top will be in. That is again when you will see this re red stripe or this red area appearing. That is the area that it will be warning you, hey, it's time to take your profits. Also look here at that MACD. Look, we are at the bottom. We can go all the way to there. This is amazing. This is just a preparation of those massive moves that we will get in the next couple of months, guys. Now, then there is the Bam Bam community. At the moment, we have a, a Halloween NFT contest. You can just join it by retweeting, reposting, whatever that we have tweeted, and then Put a copy of your repost, the link over there, and then you just send it. And then you are able to win one of the 20 uh, Bam Bam Halloween NFTs. Really cool, very simple. You don't need to do too much. You just need to only like repost one tweet or an Instagram post, whatever it is, and then just post that link that you did in this form, and then you will be able to win a Halloween NFT, guys. Now, let's jump into some more interesting charts over here. This one, for example. This one is showing you guys that there is a shitload of huge companies accumulating a shitload of Bitcoin. 
MicroStrategy over here has 252,000 Bitcoins. US Marathon Digital has 26,000 Bitcoins. Riot Platforms has 10,000 Bitcoins. US Tesla has 9,700 Bitcoins. US Coinbase has 9,400 Bitcoins. HUD 8 Mining has 9,000 Bitcoins. US Block to 8,000 Bitcoins. And we can continue the list. There's a few that are selling the Bitcoins. Here, the DA Bitcoin Group that was selling some Bitcoins. But there is a lot of Bitcoins uh, Wills added, being adding at the moment. They all have more than 1,000 Bitcoins. Here, even this one over there, US Fold. You can see here now, 1,018 Bitcoins. Meta Planet also updated. So these all are Bitcoin wills that have more than 1,000 Bitcoins, and they are all huge investment companies, miners, etc. When they are adding to your portfolio, you should be adding to your portfolio as well. Then we have this chart, guys. This chart is showing you the drawdowns from the local high, which means like the drawdowns from the last high that we saw. Uh, we'll make my face a little bit smaller over there. We can see that we had a massive drawdown, a massive drawdown all the way here, bam, of more than 25% in September. Uh, the drawdowns now are being smaller and smaller. And mostly when they get smaller, there will be again a pump and making a new all-time high. And from that new all-time high, again, we will get some drawdowns. That is how the Bitcoin market works. That gray line is the high. That is what we need to break with the orange line to create a new all-time high. And there will always be drawdowns, but after drawdowns, we will see also moves upwards. Very cool, simple chart to understand. And the most simple, simple chart to understand, <laughs> stupid chart, simple chart to understand, is this one. It's Plan B's chart. He just simplified it for all of us by tweeting this one and just showing us, hey guys, look where we are. Just compare it to the previous times where we are now. Normally, we get this red circle going steeply up. Here we got the same. Here we got the same. Here we didn't see the same yet. We are just here at the bottom. Like you see over here in the bottom. Here we were at the bottom. There we were at the bottom. But after the bottom, we went massively up every time again and again and again and that is what is expected to happen now again the dark gray line is 500k i'm not saying it's going to be that the line down below that is 400k 300k 200k 100k that's all going to be possible in my honest opinion but i'm happy with between 1 and 200k that would be a beautiful run again from 16 almost times 10 to 160k for example a beautiful result again for our family as we bought our Bitcoins bet around that 16K. That's a shit of the profits again. And yes, we will sell and take some profits again at the top, near the top, and buy more Bitcoins back again near the bottom. That's the only thing you need to do if you live the Bitcoin standard and you want to trade the four-year cycle. Zoomed out. Beautiful chart. I hope you really enjoyed the chart, guys. Yes, always zooming out when it comes to Bitcoin. It's in the short term amazing to trade these opportunities as it is a volatile market and in a volatile market you can make a shitload of profits. Of course when we are range bound going sideways also beautiful market to make a profit but that's like smaller profits upwards and downwards. But if we go with these huge breakouts moves in Bitcoin which we expected to happen as I told you like 10,000 times in all the videos there is going to be a breakout. These moves are the bigger trades that you can take. Low risk high reward and that's a trade that you should be focusing on so in bitcoin it is very simple guys if you are a trader do focus on the market if you do if you're not a trader don't focus too much on the market just keep dollar cost averaging into bitcoin zoom out look at the bigger picture every bitcoin you buy today will be more worth in four years time and every bitcoin that you will buy tomorrow again four years later will be more worth that is how you look at Bitcoin if you're an investor. So make up your mind, what do you want to be? If you don't know, jump into the ddbambam.me community. We guide you there through all the steps, even deciding if you're a trader, an investor, or maybe even deciding you want to buy your first little bit of Bitcoin. As please understand, you don't need to buy a full Bitcoin directly. You can also buy 0.001 BTC or something like that. 
But jump into ddbambam.me. That's the educational platform that just started. Uh, we also will launch a token very soon. It will go live. You will be able to buy it. Uh, please go to the Telegram group to get more information about that over there, guys. Now, that were the charts, guys. And if you want to trade all of this, please use the links down below. I am creating this content daily for you. What you can do back for me is just use my links to sign up to all the exchanges or to book your trips with my links to all the travel agents or to book your insurance to, with the link down below. There's a shitload of very handy links that will make life a little bit more easy for you also when you're a digital nomad, but also when you just live in a normal house in a normal country, like just a normal hamster with life. Also links there to help you with that. Now let's jump into the next part of the video. The next part, guys, is the inspirational part. Today's quote is a very popular one. You're never too old to set another goal or to dream another dream. You're just never too old. Just look at me. Not that I'm the best example, but for example, I started YouTubing when I was like 42 years old. 42 years old, and I decided to go on YouTube. My kids were laughing at me. My wife was even doubting me. She was like, wow, he's gonna YouTube? He's gonna be a YouTuber? A lot of people said, man, you're fucked up crazy. You're 42, you're not gonna be a YouTuber. But I did it, because I believed I could be a very good YouTuber. I believed I could help people through the education of a platform like YouTube. So I just started the YouTube when I was 42, and I'm now 46, and I'm still YouTubing because I love it every single day. I was not too old. The people told me I was too old. I didn't feel too old. People warned me, ah, that's a crazy dream. I didn't think it's a crazy dream. I just started to dream a new dream. And I started to set new goals. And the first goal was, hey, let's reach 10,000 subscribers. And now the next goal was, hey, let's reach 50,000 subscribers. And the current goal is, hey, let's reach 100,000 subscribers. I keep setting new goals and I keep dreaming new dreams. There will be something new again after YouTube. There will be something that comes onto my path. I will grab life by the balls and I will make the best out of that. So that's an example of that you're never too old to set another goal or to dream another dream. Without dreaming, there is no life. Without goals, there is no use case to your life. Like you're always talking about the use case in crypto. What is the use case of your life? Is the use case of your life running the hamster wheel, working for a boss, doing what you don't like, just to get a little bit of money, to be able to pay the more and more expensive groceries that is being done by the central banks or the government? Is that the use case of your life? Or do you think or believe or could you dream of another use case of your life. If that's the case, then I would start dreaming now. I would start dreaming that new dream now. I would start setting goals now because you're never too old to set another goal or to dream another dream, guys. That was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, then please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the news? What do you think about the charts? And what do you think about dreaming new dreams? And yes, never being too old to set new goals. Bam.